Hi everybody, Gerdy Verboerd here, their Great League Guiding Coach with episode 20 of the series on how to safely hike mountains and any other part of nature. And today's episode is all about taking your time. So yeah, yeah, when you go into nature, when you go into the mountains, you have to remember that you're not going into the mountains to catch a bus or to um, a train or something. You don't necessarily usually and when you're doing it right you definitely don't have to be back at a certain time you just you're going into nature you're going into the mountains to enjoy yourself and that's hard to do when you're rushed when you're hiking as though you're living in a big city and um, uh, living your regular life Morgan you know and just trying and keeping the pace that you're um, used to so what I invite you to do is really easy and that is find a nice spot with a beautiful view or by a lovely lake or under a, a beautiful tree and sit down take your backpack off and just sit and watch and listen and the longer you sit the more nature can settle down again and the more nature forgets that you're there so animals that got scared by you moving into that space uh, and and hid are coming out again and uh, when you sit long enough in the mountains you may see um, mountain marmots murmotiere is what we call them over here you know peek out of their holes and and just scramble out a little bit and then start feeding again or playing again ignoring the fact that you are there and as long as you sit quietly the birds will start singing again you know that salamander that uh, hid somewhere into that slid under a, um, a bush may come out again all those things start happening again and even if you're not um, somewhere where you can actually go into nature where you can actually go into the mountains do as i do at the moment i don't have time today to go into the mountains and i'm sitting by a local lake you know in a park and um, my dog scared away the ducks and if i sit here long enough the ducks will come back and will start doing their thing again and i i don't know about you but there is something magical about watching waterfowl ducks or i love swans for example just see them float on the water and take care of their feathers, of their toiletries, of their toilet. It's it's beautiful. It's I find it almost meditative to look at that. And it's just when you're up in the mountains, you can you start breathing deeply from your belly and not just from up here. Things start happening to you, and it your whole being just quiets down. And that's why you go into the mountains. So, that's tip number 20 for today. Take your time. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.